let's say I, yeah, one more thing sam yes. um, when i am comparing um, the training session with the cisco it's completely different so after what? all after all the sessions um, can we take one class on that um, how to compare this to that so for that i want to see the cisco uh, cisco box buddy it, it's not be it will not be different can you show me the cisco or because mm -hmm. this or should be same throughout the production throughout the salesforce sandbox i'm not sure like which box they are working on okay okay after that after completion of our sessions i will i will connect the dots with the cisco arc okay one of tomorrow's is fine you can show me whenever you get time you can yeah sir. Uh, okay. after okay. completing a few more sessions we will get some okay. some more idea on this okay. and That's then right. we hmm, okay good good okay so uh let me start uh, this session so what we have done yesterday we have created the lead assignment rule we yeah. have created the queues all these things we have done right so yeah. now there are few things like uh, the auto response rules we have to see and also we have to check for the workflow rules okay after work process there are few topics are, are there so today i will show you about the workflow rules how the workflow rules work okay how the workflow rules work So what is workflow rule? So workflow rule is nothing but if you want to send any email alert. So always remember that workflow rule, you should write the workflow rule. You should write the rule for object. You should write the rule per object. The workflow rule you should write per object. What a workflow rule can do? A workflow rule can send an email alert. It can do the field update. It can create a task. And also, in the email alert, field update, and send outbound message. Outbound message. So, these four things your workflow rule can do. These four things your workflow rule can do. Okay, so workflow rule is what? Workflow rule is nothing but it is an automation tool. It's a automation tool, or you can talk about it's a out of the box functionality of Salesforce. It's out of the box functionalities of Salesforce. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how we should write the workflow rule? So we will go to the setup. Go to setup. And in the quick find box, we will write workflow rule. So we will write workflow rule. So once we write the workflow rule, click on the workflow rules option. So once I click on the workflow rules option, I will get this kind of a page. In the page, you can see what the workflow can do. So it can send an email alert, it can do a field update, it can create a task, it can send outbound messages. So those are the things your workflow rule can do. Clear? Yeah now coming to this workflow rule so just click on continue and here click on the new rule so as i mentioned over here the workflow rule you can write per object you should write the workflow rule per object so how to write it so from the object selection you just set up a object you just select an object so let's say i am selecting the account object so that means on the account object i am going to write the workflow rule and i will click on next button here you write the rule name so the rule name is workflow rule one 
now you can see there are three evaluation criteria. So what is the criteria evaluation criteria? Evaluation criteria is telling that evaluate the workflow rule whenever a record is created, created and every time it is edited and third is created and any time it is edited to meet the subsequent criteria. Clear? Yeah. Created and edited to meet subsequent criteria. So now let's say whenever I will see the workflow rule. So let's say I will see the evaluation criteria as created. I have selected the option as created. Evaluate the rule whenever a record is created. That means whenever I will create an account record, my workflow rule will be triggered. Clear? My workflow rule will be triggered. Okay. So here that is the evaluation criteria and the rule criteria what, what I should give in the rule criteria I should give let's say if the account name let's give the account name equals to Barclays. So what happened if your account name is Barclays and you are creating a new account record that time I should trigger my workflow rule. Up to here it's clear Lenin yeah now click on save and next and here you can choose the action immediate workflow action so what are the actions of the workflow the actions are four types send an email build up that outbound message yeah so if you click on the drop down you can see here that create a task new email alert field update outbound message so select the email alert let's say click on new email alert and I will write the description as new email notification and in the email template I will write something so these are the standard email templates these are the standard email templates so I will select any of them okay now here i will write let's say sam user i will add over here and what i will do i will click on save after saving so here you can click on the done click on done so now if you so what happened right now if your account name equals to barclays then I am going to send an email alert. Clear? Any questions till now? Yeah, it's clear, sir. Oh, cool. Now, what I will do, so this is done. So now after doing this, I will click on done. Once I click on done, once I click on done, I will activate the workflow rule. So if my workflow rule is done, so I will activate my workflow rule. So click on the activate button. Once I click on the activate button. So activate button I have done activate. So what happened? If mm -hmm. I refresh this page. Uh, why did not it activate it? It should activate. I think some notification is here. Huh? No workflow has been added. Before so adding the email alert I have given. So this is the problem of this uh, yeah, this lightning. Hmm. Sometimes it work and sometimes it does not work. If I go to classic, if I open the same email alert, let's say if I go to classic, if I write workflow again over here, workflow rules, let's say if I do continue. So this workflow rule, Okay, made it activate. So see, it got activated. Clear. So this is the problem of the lightning. But in the sandboxes, I don't think you will get some problems. It's the free edition. That's why some lightning stuff does not work out. So anyways, so I have activated the workflow rules. In the workflow rules, now what will happen? Let's say if I go to conf. Let's say if I go 
and create the account record so let's say i am going and creating a new account record and what was the criteria the criteria was if the account name is barclays so let's say i am writing bark b r c bark l a y s barclays and i'll click on save once i click on save you will see that i will get an email alert so if i go to my inbox if i refresh this page i will get an email alert yep i got this email alert so yeah. jen what for your query so this is the email alert i have given you this is the email alert i have given inside the workflow rule so that's why hmm. that's why this is the email alert i got so after you hear any questions yeah it's fine it's fine okay yeah. let me go to the workflow rule again and let me show you all the actions so click on the workflow rule and in the action if i click on edit button let's say i am creating the action and here you can do new task new field update outbound message so all these things you can do so let what me what's the new field update new field update exactly so you yeah. can do new task new field update outbound message and the email alert so email alert i have shown you so yeah. now i show you the new field update so what yeah. is the new field update so let's say what i want so let's say which field you want so let's say description field updation description and here you choose the second radio button because we don't want a null value we want a value and how you want to store the value you using the double quote so in the double quote you write account created success fully and click on save so another workflow action i have created over here so based on the rule criteria so rule criteria is what based on the rule criteria and based on the evaluation criteria hmm. we are creating these actions so what are the actions so and rule criteria is what so the criteria is if the account name is barclays and the evaluate the rule whenever a record is created that means whenever you are going to create a new account record with the name equals to barclays then you are going to uh, you know then you are going to trigger the workflow rule clear in any question yeah it's clear okay. and click on done now now we do the both the two actions Correct. new email notification and description Correct. field Correct. Okay. You are right. So if you go to accounts, let's say I'm creating a new button. Barclays. I have written Barclays. Now you can see the description field is blank. But if I save it, now you will see that description field got populated with account created successfully. And also you will get a new email alert. So see, this is the new email alert I got. Okay. Yeah. 357. so these are the things we can do using the workflow rule so now i will show you these two more workflow rules action if you make it edit and if you do new task so task is what task is nothing but let's say whenever a account record got created so that time let's say as a task your manager or some bank uh, you know officers they have to do some activity so that is yeah. called task they have to do some activity so that is called task so whenever a account is created that time i can assign to some guy from here you can assign to this name subject you can write anything unique name automatically it will come and due date when you want let's say whenever the account created date plus one day that means he will get a reminder he will get a reminder 
so whenever your account will be created that guy will get a reminder any questions and you yeah. will click on the save button so once you click on the save button you can see over here that your task got created and click on done now let me create a new account record so go to accounts click on the new button right here barclays click on save so what you can see now you can see the description field got updated your task has been created called sub one yeah. okay the sub one this is the task you can see under the open activities so this is the task if you open up the task you can see over here that the due date is 8 7 today is 7 7 the due date is 8 7 that means tomorrow he will get an tomorrow he is going to get an reminder email regarding the task, a reminder pop-up regarding the task which has been assigned to him clear any questions any till now with this we can give, we can give update for multiple number of accounts yes you can okay, okay. Uh, yeah now if you go to the workflow action there is the last action which is remaining that is called outbound message so if you click on this if you click on new outbound message so in the new outbound message you just create the name so let's say you are writing outbound message example and in the endpoint url so before going to this i will tell you about the outbound message how it works so outbound message is nothing but let's say a third party system let's say java mm -hmm. so whenever i am going to create a payment application so how i want the payment application I want in this way, like all the accounts will be created inside Salesforce. But whenever the accounts will be created that time, we will send the account number, account status, some information of the account to the third party system. So third party means Java system. So whenever okay send the account information to the third party of java system that time they will do the processing of the amounts like if you want to debit credit everything they will do under the java application but inside salesforce we will create the accounts and we will send the data to the third party system clear okay it's clear now so this so what i did so as an outbound message so you can see in the endpoint url so endpoint url is what endpoint url is nothing but whenever you are going to expose your web service that means let's say if you want to send some data to third party system so before that you have to send the data to an point to an url okay so that is yeah. called the endpoint url where from where java will connect collect the data and salesforce will send the data this is a point where java will collect the data and salesforce will send the data to that point this is called endpoint url and this endpoint url we are not going to give anything over here okay so we will write so your customers will provide you the your cost customers will provide you the endpoint urls okay so this is something costly very costly so your customers will give the endpoint url and in that endpoint url you have to send the data from salesforce so you send account number whether the account is active or not billing street postal code account source so let's say all these informations you are sending them and click on yeah and click on save so that means what happens and click on done so now you see over here 
if you go to the workflow rule so let's say you go to your account click on the account records click on the new and in the account name you write barclays you write the billing country as india billing city as kolkata postal code you can write 70059 whatever you want active yes it is active so let's say all these informations i want to send and i click on save so what will happen now there are four actions will be created description field will be updated i will get an email alert so i got the email alert if you go here you can see the task has been created and also you will send the outbound message so outbound message where you can check click on setup in the quick find box you just type message message once you type message over here you can see over here that under monitor you can see outbound messages so click on the outbound messages once you click on the outbound messages over here you can see the id which have been sent to that endpoint if you click on the message id you can see this messages id is coming over here so all the informations whatever you have sent all these informations is going to that particular endpoint clear any questions anything yeah clear sir okay um okay one second i got a lot of mails they can delete all the mails yep now so this is the outbound message i have showed you in the workflow rule so in the workflow rule what i did so you can see over here that what i have done click on edit so you can see the evaluation criteria right so evaluate the rule whenever a record is created correct so now if you so what i can do over here i will delete so you have understood all the four actions right yeah so now what i will do i will delete this workflow rule and i will change only the evaluation criteria i will change only the evaluation criteria or let's say i will not delete all the actions keep it like that i will change the evaluation criteria over here now you can see i have selected evaluate the rule whenever a record is created and every time it is edited created and every time it is edited so that means what what is the difference between created and first option and the second option created and every time it is edited what is the difference any idea no okay i will tell you so created and created and every time it is edited is nothing but let's say tale po ma ye le gaya guys guys lain ek one second so now created and created and every time it is edited what does that mean so created means let's say i have selected the second radio button and click on save so what will happen now so if you go and create an account record with barclays new and let's say i have created a barclays i will click on save once i click on save you can see that your description got updated with account created successfully that means your workflow is running 
also yeah. you can see that if you edit this record if you edit this record okay let's say let's say i'm deleting the description field now before editing i'm deleting it so let's say i'm changing the type anything and i'm saving it so that time you can see the description field will be populated again that means if you select the second radio button that means created and every time edited that means what will happen if you create a new record and also if you edit the record then you will get the workflow actions the workflow actions will be triggered clear any questions till now clear sir okay now i will show you the third option that is the option called created and any time it is edited to subsequently meet the criteria created and any time it is edited to subsequently meet the criteria now see what is the difference between second and third radio button it is telling that created and any time it is edited to subsequently meet the criteria and second was telling created and every time it is edited so now i showed you for the second option that whenever i created a record and whenever i was editing the record every time it was performing the workflow actions but the third radio button is that created and any time it is edited to subsequently meet the criteria that means let's see over here now i have selected the save button if you go to account create a new account record here you write barclays click on save the description field will be populated and you will get mail alert and all yep description field got populated now let's say i am removing this description field okay and let's say acha wait one second let's say i am editing and i am removing this description let's say and i have given some type as something anything any anything, whatever mainly i am just editing the record and if i save it you can see the description field did not get populated that means your workflow action did not triggered mm -hmm. out so what do you mean by created and any time it is edited that means let's say if i go to accounts if i create any if i open some you know old account let's say hdfc and what was the criteria criteria was that my account name has to be barclays so from hdfc i am making to barclays and you can see the description field is blank now what i am going to do i am going to save it now you will see that your description field got populated your your uh, you know task has created you got an email alert everything you will get that means what you understood from the second yeah second uh, sorry, sorry from the third workflow action you understood yeah. that if we have any kind of old record okay if we change those old records criteria to meet the specific action so meet the specific criteria okay so that time your workflow rule will trigger out due to the third option that means created and any time it is edited to subsequently meet the criteria any questions till now no you are good yeah okay yeah. so now you practice this workflow rule and whatever the so workflow rules whatever i have shown you you practice the same workflow rule uh, from the recording session and okay. tomorrow or day after tomorrow i will give you a big not a uh, big no, maybe on monday yeah maybe on monday i will give you a big requirement on this workflow rule because this is all together i will give you a big requirement okay, okay. you do the assignment but pre uh, first of all you just create the salesforce org and do this assignment right like. no, i have created okay. it okay okay perfect you have any questions buddy yeah it's clear okay cool then fine oh, we are going to wrap up this session and uh, yeah. we will join tomorrow then
Okay. 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 Bye. Bye, Sam. Bye.